Hello everyone, welcome back. Misty Vell here. In case you didn't know who I am, I'm Misty Vell Gaming and I do casual cozy games um, anywhere from MMOs to games like Mirthwood and games like Ranger Fervorshine. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's start. This is my first time playing Mirthwood. I don't know quite what to expect but I'm assuming that I'm going to die quite a lot. So let's see what happens. Hmm? Home is not where you're from. It's where you find light when all grows dark. Hmm. And your story begins in darkness. Okay. That's not good. But tonight, in the cool of the old vineyard, the air is still, offering you a moment to reflect. Wait, I'm a guy? <laughs> there's no character. Okay, I was going to say there's no character creation. All right. Oh, wow. So they really don't look that much different. Doesn't matter. Size. Wanderer's hairstyle. We're going to go with the blonde or the braid. Go with some brown. No, we don't need a beard or beard color. Eyes. Pretty. Okay. Brow type bushy. Then brow color brown. Okay, so that's our appearance. Oh, my name. Misty Vale. Okay, so our origin, oh my goodness, Turian, Kelsair, Osora, Gear, or Valoria, home to a solitary woodland loving people, ancient forests lie encircled by the white mountains and the sea, you're introverted, oh, I see, so each land has a different, you're agreeable, curious, conscientious, introverted, or assertive. Um... How about we come from Kelsier? Plains and pastures stretch across Kelsier, making it home to many farming families and tradesmen. And we're agreeable. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. Okay, so then class. We can be a royal, a noble, or a peasant. <laughs> a royal is a life of extravagance and luxury, can quickly become one of pressure and protests as you regrettably discovered. You are socially alluring and your armor is less effective. A noble dances, fine wine, food, and friends. Nothing could darken your day save for an unhappy brush with the peasantry. On you, clothing is more potent and crops grow more slowly. Peasant, higher society had little concept or care for your work and so they remained ignorant to your importance for now. Um, energy is less of a worry for you, but you are socially unpolished. Okay, so we're going to be a peasant. And then our profession. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. That's a lot. Uh, an herbalist, a tinkerer, a farmer, an actor, a criminal, a fighter, <laughs> or a rat catcher. Okay. So an herbalist. Of uses for herbs and plants, there can be few who know more. You can unlock the potential in the wilds around you. You might forage extra herbs. You take more damage in battle. Ooh, I don't know about that. Tinkerer, a keen eye for metals, gems, and wood, led you to the workshop. Years of practice have led to an excellence in your wares. Reduce crafting time, but your stamina drains faster. Ooh. Oh, goody. Farmer, dirt-stained hands, rich-tilled soil, and deep green fields. Your labors fill not only your stomach, but your very soul. Your crops grow faster, but you're more prone to hunger. Why? I'm confused on that one. That doesn't make any sense. Actor, distraction and escape. You gifted to the no nobility and the lowly alike. A beloved thespian, the world is your stage. You are romantically inspired, but all weapons do less damage. Well, that sucks. Criminal. A childhood lives on the streets tonight. Uh, 
A childhood lived on the streets tonight. You certain survival skills taught you certain survival skills. Cannot read. And life is about survival in the end, is it? So, fighter, drenched in conflict, opportunities for battle on the continent were many. There are few enemies you fear. All weapons do more damage, and but your goods are worth less coin. And then, rat catcher, nobody notices a rat catcher. That is until he's absent. You're craftier and hardier than most believe you to be. You are less vulnerable to hunger and disease, but you were romantically challenged. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Um, oh. And I want to check settings, too. I need to check settings really quick. Um, I think I'm going to try Farmer. Because you can always go back and make another character and become something different. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. And then finish. Kelsey or Peasant Farmer. Okay, so let's see how we do. Now, oh God, where's Asher gone off to? Okay, let me go into settings really quick. I'm gonna click easier combat and easier survival because I suck at this. <laughs> Asher, and I'm wearing just a barefoot and a thin shift. And who is Asher? Good evening. I know I'm half naked, but um, can you help me, sir? Find Asher. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. And I don't know who Asher is. Nay, I've not seen your brother, so don't ask. <laughs> well, okay. Okay, so he's our brother, all right. And I'm running around in <laughs> hardly any clothes for medieval times. Like, what the heck? Okay, I don't know if he's gone that way. Tell you what, he better not be off having a tryst. Asher, Ooh, what is this? Ooh, I got brown tights. Picked up brown tights. Now let's see, is I... Wait, 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 wait. Can I? Okay, I can do that. Okay. Oh, that's good. Nope, oh, no, no. <laughs> They're a little quick. Nope. It's got to be left click then. There we go. So I've got a rusty copper sword and I'm some shabby brown tights. Um, oh, God, I didn't even look at my hunger or anything. Morality. Oh, morality and renown. Oh, you can have morality and change it. Ooh. Always falling asleep right Oh my god! <laughs> so they just had a tryst. And he fell asleep and she's ticked. Okay, Asher, I'm gonna take this sword and beat you up. Excuse me, Mr. Deer, have you seen my brother? So I guess this is your energy and this is your hunger. And this is your health. Is there a... Oh wow. Where the heck is my brother? Ooh. Ooh, I got a hat. And I picked up 11 gold. Damn, we're rich. Okay, wait. Okay. We're never going to get it. We're never even going to find our brother because I can't. I can't even pick up a dang hat. How, how do you loot? I don't know. How, there we go. It just wasn't working. Okay, so we got a cute little hat. Find my brother. I swear I'm going to slice him up. I am not asking you for anything. There's some birdies. No, oh, you can jump back, but there's no jumping per se. I can't get through there or there. Okay, so is there a map? C 
currently unavailable. Great. Okay. Well, at least we're, we're not completely naked anymore. <gasps> oh, we got a robe. Thank God. Of course, now I look like a friar. So if he's not anywhere around here, maybe we have to go out to the woods. This may not end well for us. Um, is there a path anywhere? Oh, there he is. <gasps> oh. What are you doing over here? Oh, I just tried to run him through. And finally, you arrived. Done daydreaming, are you? I thought you'd lost your marble standing there for so long. Well, okay then. Regardless, you do remember we're out here to gather some ingredients for supper tonight. Father could live off mushrooms if we'd let him, but Mother will want those herbs from the vineyard. Flavorless, if you ask me. Gather both. You can play the cook tonight. Um... So I got three mushrooms and three ginseng. Um, sure. If I could see anything. Okay, so we've got one mushroom. I don't even know what the ginseng would look like. There's some more. Okay, so I've got all three mushrooms. I just need some ginseng. I can't go that way. I am limited by where I can go. It is a little frustrating. And I hear the creaking of the trees, and it's freaking me out. How do I know what ginseng looks like? I know it's an herb that grows in the ground. But I'm not seeing anything. And, okay, so... No, yeah, alright, we already, we already saw that. He's not going to talk to us again. I'm not seeing anything. won't get very far if I can't find the ginseng. I want to be able to climb up on the cliffs and whatnot, but it doesn't look like I can. I wonder if the ginseng is in in here? Oh, I can't go in there. Well, that sucks. Ten years later, I finally get the ginseng. She did say, he did say it was in the, um, vineyard. Maybe that's where I was. Maybe this is the ginseng? This is the vineyard. Okay, does anybody have some ginseng? Is this ginseng? Yes, this is ginseng. Aha, so it's a purple flower. Very tall. I wasn't asking you to find my brother. No, shush up. So it is a singular tall purple flower. I am not seeing another one and I need three. Hmm. Ah, there's one. Okay, got that. So this is basically a survival game. Ah, oh, there's another one. Yay! Basically a medieval survival game. And, uh, but you, as you saw, can be any type of character that you so want. Um, did I just lose my brother? Yes, here he is. Okay, really? Okay, so... Now what do I do? 
cook dinner at home. North. Wait. The map is currently unavailable. Still the map is unavailable. So he's got a fire there, but I can't cook there? Well, that's unfortunate. I don't wish to speak to him, but it says it's north. I'm unsure where our home is. Because I cannot fit through here. Or get up these mountains. <gasps> ah. I am terrible at these games. But they're so fun sometimes. And I can't tell if my hunger is going down or not. I guess not. Okay, I don't know where to cook, which is very unfortunate. <gasps> oh, now I can open the gate. There's a chicken. That chicken's as big as I am almost. Oh my goodness. Bramble Quillworthy, what a dotard. I guess this is, the door is locked. Um, okay, so that's not our house. Good eve to you. Hope all is well. They say the miller is planning quite the feast. Hope all is hope it's as good as last year. Uh, is that tomorrow? Aye, at sundown, you know. I hope it starts on time this year. I waited an age for Asher. Talk to him, will you? Done. Okay, thank you. Oh, and I can't get over there. So where is our little house? Is this it? Oh, I guess this is our little house. Um, oh god, now I gotta cook dinner. Um, home at last, the stove beckons. The room is filled with a familiar sense of past dinners. The choice is yours. Let's cook mother's favorite. I see you made the right choice. Okay. Um, um, did I cook it? Oh, eat it. Well, it seems even the wolves are quieter tonight. Maybe they too sense the storm brewing beyond our hills. Or perhaps they're just stated with your cooking. Let's hope our enemies find it as pacifying as those wild beasts. Though a dash of nightshade might be might ensure it, don't you think? If only peace were as simple as a well-cooked meal. Shall I march into battle wielding a ladle, mother? Let's set aside our swords and spoons for tonight. Dawn will be upon us sooner than we think. Best we all get some rest. There's much work to be done tomorrow. Um, where do I sleep? Sleep in your bed downstairs. There is a downstairs. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait, who's, whose bed is this? Prologue, view and journal. Okay. Oh, wow, the village is on fire. The embers of war. Oh, God. After all <gasps> these oh, my God. Years. Okay, this isn't cozy. Oh my god, they hung people? <gasps> oh, this is not cozy. It's casual, though. I must reach the docks. Is that what she just said? Escape to the... Where the hell are the docks? Oh my god. I don't know where anything is. Oh my god, they even killed the deer? Plus tab to equip a weapon. Oh god, because I'm gonna need to fight. Oh god, oh god. Okay, okay. I, I don't I don't know how to fight. Oh my god. Well, I haven't died yet, so that's good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Do I do I need to I do need to loot him? Okay. I I don't know that I'm going the right way. There's, there's nothing here. There's a wall. Is there something down? Oh, is there a path this way? Okay, so I was on the original right path. Who knows where the flip I'm going. Um, I can't get... 
I'm sorry, am I supposed to help? Investigate. You come upon a group of guards, weary and disheveled. They explain that the bound man abandoned his post at the village bridge during the raid, leaving it unguarded. Thorn admits to leaving his post, not out of fear, but to intercept a rogue group aiming to poison the village's water supply. His absence allowed the attackers unhindered access to the village, resulting in a significant loss of life. Oh my god. My choices are leave the matter alone, free him, or kill him yourself. I don't know what this would this will affect my morality. Um, um, he did try and help, but I guess I oh man, I don't know, I guess all right, I'm gonna make a terrible decision. No morality <laughs> or minus ten morality. I'm sorry. I I didn't know what to do. Oh, Okay, that's not good. Tab. This is extremely awkward. A heavy raider. Oh yeah, I'm... As long as I'm not attacked by multiple people, I should be okay maybe? Keep blocking, keep blocking. You're almost out, you're almost out. Picked up five gold. Why do these guys keep, keep dealing lavender? Okay, I guess I can't go that way. I guess I have to go up this way. You can typically flee from enemy encounters. Oh crap. Well, that's a soldier. That's a raider. I just want to get the boat. And I don't know where I'm going. And it's raining and it's dark. And it's scary. <gasps> There's the boat. Go below decks. Okay, I'll go hide. I'm hiding. Alas, <sighs> all good things must end. It came to pass that bitter conflict and ceaseless war engulfed the continent. Those who dared to brave the sea fled. You were there. This is where your journey begins. Oh, now I'm in the Freelands. Oh, okay. And it's still pouring down rain. Is there a map available now? No. Why is there no map? Uh. Um, so Q. Oh, a health elixir is comfort stage and aloe is stamina elixir. I don't have the chamomile. And I don't have wheat or cow's milk. I do have a baked apple though. Okay, so, so that means if I go here, then I can, I can eat. Oh, do I need to speak to you? The man beckons you, and though you've never met, murmurs your name. Welcome to the free lands, he says with a crooked-toothed grin. Someone's been waiting for you, almost as though they foresaw your arrival. I know not who he is. He gestures towards the steed. Ride west. Bring this horse to the stranger. The road will take you where you need to be. Okay. Hopefully this is a cutscene and I don't need to guide the horse. Look at the deer. It's cute. 
That is a little graphic. <laughs> Just a little bit. Ooh, a hawk. Some large bunnies. Oh dear. I dislike when they look the woods look like this. It creeps me out. Charted by you. Take me to safety, horsey. Mirthwood. Another big bunny. Graveyard. Deer. Come on, pony. You can do it. Oh, God. <laughs> we almost lost the game. Oh, dear. Um, okay. Welcome, weary traveler. The stranger lifts his head, eyes shadowed beneath his hood. Your journey has been long, and I imagine you are full of questions. First, you must rest, for you have carried the weight of many miles. This land, it belonged to someone I once knew. Take care of it. You'll find that some things make more sense in time. For now, watch, listen, and settle in. We will likely cross paths again. Until then, keep your eyes open. You carry a luck few can claim. Um, investigate the property. And that's like a plague mask, which is really creepy. There's the glowing stuff. I can't go that way, really? I hear squirrels. Well, that's his rundown. I need power washer to clean this house up. My friend, enclosed is the deed to the land beneath your feet. Though the property is old and has long been neglected, it deserves better than to remain idle. When time permits, meet me at the Hazy Hag Tavern. You'll find it south of here in the town of Bright Oak. Um, okay. It's cute enough. Interesting stones and trees. Lots of holes in the roof, which is not good. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, we need to... Alara, my thoughts remain tethered to you and the decisions that have led us here. Once again, the seasons have turned, yet the shadow remains unlifted. I long for the days when the light of your spirit was undimmed. I turn my attention now to a new task. Okay. So we have no walls, really. Um, sleep in a bed. So we're going to sleep. Hope that nothing eat th eats us. After a night of troubled sleep, your thoughts dwell upon your distant kin and the peculiar hooded figure. A blend of fear and wonder churns in your stomach. Where do you find yourself now? I do not know. A stranger? They wish to meet at the Hazy Hag. Okay, so J for journal. So Fate's First Whispers. Meet the stranger at the Hazy Hag, then the road to follow the farm's southern road. The faint but distant sound of life beckons. A bustling murmur, pulse of activity. Perhaps you might head south and discover the source. Okay. Taking my sword with me because I might need a bunny. Oh, now our stamina and energy are showing through. Um. Oh wow, relationships. Your interaction with NPCs will affect their feelings of friendship and romance towards you. When in range of an NPC, an icon will appear at the bottom of the screen. Click this to learn more about that. Oh, Oscar, I see. NPC. Every NPC has a unique personality and enjoys different topics and gifts. Uncovering traits can be helpful. A helpful way to get to know an NPC. Okay, so Oliver. He's a miner, a noble from Valora. He's anxious. Cold, an acquaintance. He's a scoundrel. Oh, that's not very good. Strike up a conversation. Um, okay. H how do you do that? Um. Ooh, 
Hello. Just chat. Oh, wow, you can do all of this. This is really in depth. Small talk. Oh, so. Oh, wow. Okay, excuse you. Oscar talks about playing chess. Okay. Um, influence. Okay, that's better. Oh my god, that was weird. Oscar attempts to tower over you. What the hell? Influence. Yeah, don't, uh, don't. Oxer makes a mean face. Dude, I have a sword. Don't make me bring my sword out. This is a little different. Talks about long walks. Chat. Deep. Okay, so maybe... maybe uh, don't you try and kiss me. Uh, intellectual. This is very different. Oscar talks about the importance of napping. So he's a scoundrel, he's a chess player. Now, how do I end the conversation? Okay, just let it go like that. Okay, no problem. Oh, wait. Oh look, there's a an accept quest thing. So I don't know which of these. I guess he, this is the lazy head, perhaps. No, that's the bog and briar. So we don't want that one. Okay. Chickens are interesting. Gotta walk through everybody's properties. There's a blacksmith. Here, day two. Um, no, I don't want to. Okay, so they're just basically laughing at us. Um, fine, it's fine. <laughs> um, I'm looking for the ha the the hag and uh, the hazy hag. And that's the uh, that's not it. West to Bog and Briar, south to Hazy Hack. Okay, so keep on going. That's locked. Ah. This looks like a church. Maybe it's down here? Is that Oscar again? That's Dobbin. There's a pony. That's the horse that the guy had. Or a horse that looks like it. Oh god. Okay. Nope. Nope. We went too far. <laughs> the old forest. Plus 10 survival. Okay. Nope. 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 See ya. Oh, and we're getting hungry and tired at the same time. Oh god. I thought they'd take it easy on me. So what's down here? Oh, here's the... The Hag of Bleakwood? Oh god, why did I do that? Um, oh, here's the stranger. I see you have read my letter and the deed, I presume. I pray it is no imposition. Though the manor may lie in ruin, I wager you can breathe no life into it. Alas, even here in the so-called free lands, taxes will come due. But such matters are trifling. I have more pressing concerns to discuss with you. Not here, however. We must convene in a secluded place, far from prying ears. When the time is right, I shall send a courier with instructions to you wherever you are. This I shall not yet reveal, and so do I ask for your trust. In time, all shall be made clear to you. Um, rest and recover from your long journey. It would be wise, my friend, to begin foraging 
forging a sustainable life here. The land is vast, filled with great beauty and great peril beyond your imagining. Okay. Your Thanks. conversation with the stranger revealed precious little. I ask for your trust. But is there reason to give it? Yeah. Yet you have a place to rest. With some effort, one you may even call home. For now, you await word. And whatever may follow in its wake. <laughs>